you're in the market for pots or pans, here's some advice. Skip that really expensive copper stuff and spring for a thick slab of metal instead. Expensive, gleaming copper pans are coveted by many people, even those who never cook. Yeah, heat moves through copper a bit faster than it does through aluminum or steel, so all else being equal, a copper pan will get hot faster. But if even cooking is what you're after, the thickness of the pan is the bigger factor. All of the heat flowing upward from beneath the pan must go somewhere. At first, most of it goes into raising the temperature of the pan. As that occurs, conduction spreads the heat throughout the pan from the hot spots to the cool spots. Now you might think that eventually, the temperature across the bottom of the pan would even out, but it doesn't. That's because as the temperature rises, the pan loses heat from convection into the air faster than it can be replaced by conduction across the pan. This competition between conduction and convection ultimately limits how hot a pan can get as well as how even the heat is. In a thin pan, the distance from the flame to the food is so short that the hot spots are inevitable. Thicker pans give heat time to spread sideways on its way up, so the food experiences less variation in temperature across the pan. Think of it like a freeway congested with traffic. If you want to get more cars, or heat, from A to B, raising the speed limit, or conductivity, will help a little. But adding a few more lanes, a thicker base, will make a much bigger difference. For our book, Modernist Cuisine, we actually wrote software that modeled the heat transfer through pans of various materials and thicknesses. As we expected, the thickness of the material mattered much more than its composition. But we were surprised to find another factor played a huge role as well, properly matching the size of your pan to the burner. Although thickness helps, even a two inch thick skillet will still heat unevenly if it's placed on a burner that's too small. So when you're at the store, skip over those expensive copper pans. Instead, pick a few thick, sturdy pans that are well matched to the size of your burners. But if you really want the ultimate in even cooking, have a metal shop cut a half inch to inch and a half thick solid block of aluminum and place your pan on top of that. It'll be cheaper than that fancy $400 skillet, and it'll give you more even heating on all of your pans. Thanks for watching Modern Kitchen. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out modernistcuisine.com. Various materials and things.